Hello students, welcome to Smart Engineering Tutorials. In our last video, we have seen satellite communication, its block diagram and the different three main parts of the satellite communication that is the uplink section, downlink section, transponder. And we have seen that uplink frequency is higher than the downlink frequency and the difference between the two is 2 gigahertz. But why is this so? You will see the answer to this question which is uh, commonly asked in exams so we should know the answer of this so first is that they are different to prevent interference both the frequencies cannot be same so that the problem of interfering or mingling is avoided the bandwidth of a commercial communication satellite is 500 megahertz so this is the bandwidth given in which the signals are to be transmitted or it can be video signals, data signals, voice signals and different facilities are provided but the bandwidth is 500 megahertz. And the difference between the uplink and downlink carrier frequencies is 2 gigahertz. Now coming to the main uh, answer to this question is that the transponder which is in the satellite which is stationed in the satellite and the satellite is in the air, in the space. So, the focus is to make size and weight of things or the circuits as much possible as can be. So, the special attention is given to the, to the size and weight minimization of the antennas of the transponder because the transponder has a uh, you are receiving antenna then again there is also a transmitting antenna so antenna play a main part and the size can be controlled as you can see here the size of an antenna is roughly lambda by 2 lambda is the wavelength and this lambda is c by f so what is the rough height of an antenna, Lam uh, antenna lambda by 2 that is c by f into 2 f is your frequency so, if our frequency is higher, if the frequency is higher, it is in the denominator, the lambda will be less. If lambda is less, the height which is lambda by 2, it will be less. So, for a higher frequency, the height of the antenna will be lower. So, if we take higher uplink frequency, the receiving antenna in the transponder will be low, it will be uh, small in size, if size is small, then naturally the weight will be less and this will be easy to install. So for this reason, the uplink frequency is kept at a higher end. So, if uplink is higher and the difference between uplink and downlink is 2 gigahertz, that means the uh, downlink frequency will be of low value. It will be 2 gigahertz lower in value than the uplink frequency. To keep the, the same point which I have told before, to keep the size of antenna practical, a higher uplink frequency is chosen. And now we are talking about downlink frequency. It is Its value is 2 GHz less than the uplink frequency. And due to this, what is the benefit of keeping the uh, up, uh, downlink frequency low? It is that at a low frequency, if you want to generate a particular power, we need a particular power to be uh, generator then at a low frequency it is easy to achieve that power level with a simple circuitry so this is advantageous as the power is generated in an airborne satellite the satellite is in space it needs the focuses to keep the things to a minimum size so if the power can be the amount of power which we need it can be achieved by a simple circuit then the weight will be less so the focus is on this thing that's the reason why the uplink is kept higher to reduce the antenna height in the transponder and the downlink is kept lower so that the power level that is required it can be obtained from a simple circuitry this is the main reason of the question number. Now the frequencies used 
most popular uplink and downlink frequencies are 6 gigahertz and oblique 4 gigahertz that is 6 by 4 gigahertz you can write 6 is the uplink and 4 is the downlink and the main reasons for using 6 by 4 gigahertz frequency range for uplink and downlink are that first point is that at these frequencies they offer minimum propagation problems means the signals can pass or propagate easily at these frequencies the second is that the noise present in the sky is low in this frequency range 6 by 4 third the rain also attenuates the signal very much but in this range the rain attenuates signals at different frequencies in different amounts so in this frequency range the rain attenuation is not much also the rf components at these frequencies are readily available in the market no need of specialization further because they are already in the market and fifth point is that terrestrial microwave links also operate in this frequency range and so experience designing is available at these frequencies other frequencies which are also in use since 6 by 4 has been overcrowded by use uh, so the different re uh, frequencies available are 14 by 12 gigahertz and 30 by 20 gigahertz in this the bandwidth is 2.5 means bandwidth is large and the difference in the frequencies is 10 gigahertz with this we get the answer to this question and the end to the satellite communication topic because in electrical and IT uh, branches uh, more depth because it's not required because this is a separate subject in electronics so this much is enough all the best for your exams and thank you